Okay, let's take a look at question two. Now question two again is on console applications and this time it's on dates. So we'll look at, look at using dates in our Java programs. The question says, develop a console application which gets the current system date and displays it in the following formats. And there's a screenshot below as it says there to give you an example. So the default date format is just whatever Java displays when you display a date without any formatting. And there's days into the year format, weeks and year format, uh, date time format, so showing the clock as well, and then millennium format. So it's just a couple of formats just to get you started with using dates. Okay, If you want to explore more date formatting flags or fields, that's fine. Uh, this is just to get you started. Okay, And it's a good idea to include a description in the output label prior to each date to make it easy, to, easy for the user or for you to determine which format the date is in. So something like this would be ideal. Okay, So default date format followed by the date in default format and the days into the year format, the weeks year format, and so on. Okay, now the amount of time estimated for a student to do this is around about 25 minutes. Again, it's not a race. If you can't get it done in that time, please don't feel bad or disheartened. That's just a general guideline time that people should be aiming for. Okay, if you can get it done in that time, you can finish the two questions in, in, in a two-hour tutorial or whatever. Okay, but if you can't get it done in that time, that's okay as well, but you might need to do more work. Okay, more coding become more comfortable with things. Later on in the term, if you come back and do these questions again, you'll find yourself doing it in much quicker than that time. But it's not a race, and it's just a guide time for this at this stage. Okay, so, so let's take a look at our code. So there we are on TextPad. Public class, we'll start with public class again, as we do every time. And I'll call it week two, Q2, and I'll call it dates, okay. And like you've watched me do, I like putting a comment on, on all my closing braces. And we'll save that now. I'll save that to Java's our types, that's fine. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so we need a public static void main. Remember that? Public static void main. Takes an array of strings. Okay, you can do that string thing multiple ways as I've already showed you in class and, and lecture videos. You can do it that way as well, that's quite okay. Um, so we'll put the opening and closing curlies in again. Sorry, I'm... Okay, so there's our comments on our closing opening and curly braces. So the question says, um, display the current system date. Okay, so how do you get the current system date? If you have a look at the week's tutorial question, uh, lecture slides, you'll see that the command date my date equals new date that declares a date variable or, or field called my date and sets it equal to the current system date and time. Okay, so it initializes it with the current system date and time. Okay, so there's the import we need to work with dates, so we must just copy and paste that. <laughs> okay, there's our import. And we'll also grab that next line of code as well. Um, Okay, so then we've got a date to work with. Um, today's date. Okay, so today's date is now set to the current system date and time. Let's put time in there as well. <laughs> okay, so today's date time contains the current system date and time. So if we just output to the screen, we've got old system out print line. Okay, so we're displaying the uh, default date, date format as a, as a bit of text and then the value of the today's date time field that we just declared and initialized. Okay, so we'll compile that and now let's run it. And there's the output there. So we see default date format is Wednesday 29th of September, 15.09pm uh, in 2010. Okay, so that's the current date and time that this video is being made. Okay. Um, so let's explore some other formatting fields now. So let's try and answer that first question. Okay. Um, so we've done the default day, date format. We've done that tick. <laughs> now let's try and do the days into the current year. Okay. So let's have a look at our our date formatting variables. So we need to import system date 
uh, simple date format, sorry, import simple date format. So it's java.text.simple date format. So we'll put that in the top of our program there with the other import that we had. Okay, and then once you've done that, you can declare some simple date format fields, such as my format, and use the formatting attributes that we find on the, on the following slide. Okay, so which ones do we need for the days into the current year? Okay, and you'll see right there, it leaps right out at you. Um, the uppercase D gives you day in a year. So DDD will give you 189 if we're 189 days into the current year. Okay, and then Y gives you the year. And if you want to make sure you get at least four digits, then you go Y, 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 Y. And you get uh, the full year then, 2007. If we're in a year 35, 35, 35, we end up with all those digits as well. So more than four Y's is equal to four Y's, as I say there. Okay. If you've got uh, 10 M's, it's the same as four M's. If you've got 10 E's, it's the same as four E's. That applies to all of the Java formatting attributes for dates. So 10 Y's is the same as four Y's. So as long as you've got four Y's there, you'll get the full year, no matter what year we're in. We could be in the year 100,050, <laughs> you know, or something like that, and we'd still get the full year. So we're um, not going to have any truncation problems like um, we had with the year 2K. Okay, so Java's immune from that, as long as you use four Y's. Okay, so we know we need the Ds, four, three Ds will do it, and then four Ys, and then just whether you want a slash or a, or a minus sign between them. So let's declare a simple date format. And I'll call it the days, oops, So it's new simple date format. And you remember the, the string that we had to use? We had to use uppercase Ds. It's very case sensitive, like everything in Java. Very case sensitive. So it's three Ds, and then if you want a minus sign or a slash, and then four Ys, lowercase y. Okay, so there's our simple date format object there being declared. And so we use days and year format now to, deform, to format our date. Okay, so let's let's do that. System dot out dot print line. And we're gonna apply this format. So it's the format object, days and year format in this case, dot format, followed by our date, our date variable or our date object which is today's date and time. Okay, and that should be all we need to do. If you're worried about your lines being too long, I'm only working in a little window here, but if you're worried about your lines being too long, you can, you can do that as you want it. Okay, so it's all there and you can see it all on the screen at once without having to scroll across to the right. We'll compile, good. We'll run our application, and there we are there. So days into the days in year format, I've used the wrong case of the O. It's only a little eight ball, it doesn't matter. So we're 272 days into 200 into 2010. Okay, that's when the program's being run. Okay, let's see if we can have what formats we need for the next one. The next one is the weeks into the year. So for example, we might be in week 48 out of 52 or something like that. Okay, let's see if we can work out which format flag we need. Um, so there's the weeks and year there. Um, so we just need WW. Okay, so if we create another uh, format, uh, we'll copy and paste that one, and instead of DD we'll have WW, oops, lowercase w, it's got to be lowercase, yep, lowercase w, okay, okay, and we'll call it weeks in year. So we've got one that's got the days and one that's got the weeks. So we'll apply that again to our to our date, leave a line between each one to make it our code a bit neater, and it's weeks into the year. Fix that uppercase O as well while I'm at it, just because it's a bit ugly now in our text output. Okay, so we've got the weeks into the year with our weeks and year format being applied to the current date and time. Let's compile and run. And there's our output. So we're currently in week 40 into the year. There's 52 weeks in the year. We're currently in week 40 in the year 2010. Okay, so it's that easy. Um, once you get used to the, to the date formatting flags, they're quite easy to use. Um, so the next one's US date format, where you've got the month number, and then the day, day of the month, and then a year. Okay, for example, if we're in a, in a tenth month, it'd be 10, or nine for the ninth month. 
and if we're in the 29th day to be uh, 29 and in a year be 2010. Okay, that's the way the US people write dates. Um, so the formatting flags we need there are uh, we need the day, the, the week and the, the week and the month. Sorry, the, the, the month of the year, uh, which is um, mm mm to get the, the digits. So mm followed by a slash or a minus sign, and then we want the days into the month. So it's lowercase d. So dd, then a slash again. Or, or a minus sign followed by four Y's, lowercase Y's. Okay, so then you've got the date, then you've got the date in US date format. Okay, so I'll leave it to you to finish the question. Um, and uh, as I've been saying, all term, <laughs> running early in the term already, but keep adding all this information to your little jar for summaries that you're creating as you go. And then you can look back on those really quickly and copy and paste anything you need into your programs as, as you need it. It'll make your work much easier later in term. And it'll save you a lot of time as well. So keep a, keep a, keep a summary of everything we learn as we go and um, you'll find it invaluable, very useful. Okay, um, thanks for watching, I hope that was useful. Oh, so we're, uh, we're 11 minutes in and the question gave us uh, 25 minutes to finish. So we're well within time. We've taken a nice, slow, leisurely approach and we've finished well within the estimated time to do the question. Okay, even, even taking into account five minutes or so to read the question. Okay, so I hope this is useful and thanks for watching. So make sure you finish with a question on your own too. Okay, thanks.